Hello, I'm Kevin. And I'm David. Welcome back to the Charred Barrel Society. We've been working really hard to get more reviews out to you guys, and we're excited to bring you our 16th blind review. 16? Woohoo! Hey, hey, sweet 16. 16! Before we get started, we want to begin by toasting to our patrons. Seriously, we couldn't do any of this without your support. A lot of time and energy goes into putting these reviews together. So, we lift a society glass to the patrons of the Charred Barrel Society. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Mm. You can become a patron of the Charred Barrel Society by visiting our website, and there are plenty of links there that point you in that direction. That was an awful way of saying it. <laughs> Should I just do the... the I drank way? way too much of that. <laughs> just <coughs> start for... It just got hotter and hotter and hotter. It is, it is hot. <coughs> all right, all right. You can become a patron of the Charred Barrel Society by visiting our website in the, the... You can become a patron of the Charred Barrel Society by visiting our website, thechardbarrelsociety.com, and clicking on the Patreon link there. A pledge of a dollar per review really does go a long way, and if you pledge three dollars or more, you'll receive a Charred Barrel t-shirt as our way of saying thanks. All right, let's talk turkey. Wild turkey. turkey. <laughs> and specifically, Wild Turkey 101. The bad boy of bourbon. Is that a thing? I don't know. I just it, I do see it as a country drink. It's got turkeys on it. It's wild. You hunt wild turkeys. Requires shotguns, pickup trucks, and uh, Daisy Dukes somewhere in there. America, love it. Perhaps it's because a lot of people tend to turn their nose up when they think of wild turkey. Speaking of noses, Wild Turkey 101 has a sweet nose. Uh, the typical vanilla and caramel notes are there, but also hints of pine, mint, leather, and citrus make their way in which mint happens to be one of my favorite notes in a bourbon. I do want to note, at 101, the nose is not harsh and it doesn't kick you in the face. As you probably know, Wild Turkey 101 comes in at 101 proof. This higher proof is noticeable up front, but it isn't completely overpowering unlike some other bourbons. The wood oak flavor really comes in nicely here. Mint is reinforced as well as cinnamon and nut. Some members also noted a mossy quality about it. Now, Wild Turkey 101, has a medium finish to it. It doesn't hang out a super long time, but it's not gonna disappear. Flavors of cocoa and nut hang out for a little while also. It's a little bit malty. Mm. You can definitely get that in there. Yeah. You don't have to keep sipping to cover up an unpleasant aftertaste, but just know that it won't last too long. You know, it is interesting, you were saying earlier about it kind of being the, the perception of wild turkey. <clears throat> I had always thought of wild turkey as being sort of like the shoe polish of bourbons, right? You know, it's, <laughs> You, you hear of it being really strong, and it's not typically something associated with like high society, right? I mean, come on, high society and decanters that look like turkeys, so that people can store their wild turkey in a turkey decanter. I'm not really sure that comes off as being high society. Oh, I totally have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, David, how how does wild turkey? How did it score in the blind tasting? So the society gave wild turkey uh, 101 a blind finger rating of 2.2. That's pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. Especially that this comes in at around $25. So with that, we give this a medium to high value. It's a bourbon that can easily be enjoyed neat, but can serve as an excellent mixer. Well, thank you guys for watching. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Wild Turkey 101 in the comments section here. If you enjoyed this review, please share it with your friend. It really helps us out. We look forward to hearing from you guys. To, to friends, friends, fellowship, and, and the, the society. society. I took a smaller sip that time. Yeah. <laughs> this stuff you got you can't mess with.